I want to build a prototype motorcycle engine. I won't settle for anything but the best. These statements by Genichi Kawakami, who was then the fourth generation president of Nippon Gaki, a musical instrument manufacturer, formed the basis of Yamaha's production concept. They led to the development of the YA-1. It was not exactly a lightning bolt idea or a flash of sudden inspiration. It was a decision reached after extensive investigation and research. In those years, there were about 120 motorcycle manufacturers operating in Japan, and Yamaha was the last to enter the market, starting from ground zero. Under these circumstances, Yamaha posted a slogan, quality overall, and subjected the YA-1 to a 10,000 kilometer test, extremely rare and bold for the times. Also, the YA-1 featured an unconventional color scheme in the image of a chestnut color thoroughbred as compared to the solid black used by others to give their motorcycles a heavy-duty image. This bold design approach was the origin of the superb design standard that Yamaha is known for today. On July 1st, 1955, the motorcycle business separated from Nippon Gaki and Yamaha Motor Company Limited was founded. With Genji Kawakami as founding president, Yamaha and its 274 employees embarked on an unending challenge. As a latecomer to the industry, Yamaha had to prove the superior performance of its products. To do this, Yamaha entered Japan's two greatest motorcycle races, Fuji and Asama, with a YA-1. In its first time entry, Yamaha claimed victory. All of a sudden, the Yamaha name basked in the limelight. I won't settle for anything but the best. This was the moment when the founder's determination took form. If a product is not accepted around the world, it's not worth manufacturing. After making a brilliant debut, Yamaha shifted its focus to the world market. In 1958, Yamaha entered the U.S. Catalina Grand Prix for the first time. Admirably, it walked away with a prize, making its name known throughout the world. This gave the company the momentum to expand its overseas business operations ahead of other Japanese motorcycle manufacturers. It set Yamaha on the path to globalization. Yamaha began developing products with a global vision and focused its efforts on the production technology needed to create world-class quality. In 1964, the company developed a separate oil injection system for two-stroke engines in the Yamaha Autolube, a revolutionary development at the time. Since then, Yamaha has created a steady stream of innovative new technologies, virtually each one taking the industry by storm. These technologies were further refined through road races and tests before they were built into production models. Meanwhile, Yamaha introduced its first off-road motorcycle, the DT-1, in 1968, and then expanded its product range to include trail, enduro, and trial models. Yamaha's soft bike, named the Pasol, was released in 1977 to explore a new area of demand by appealing to women. In 1982, Yamaha's cumulative motorcycle production topped the 20 million mark. 
the Yamaha challenge to create and produce superb products, then extended past motorcycles as the company actively began developing automotive engines. The Toyota 2000 GT, which was jointly developed by Yamaha and Toyota and attracted worldwide attention, remains a legend to this day. Yamaha's original engine technology was later applied to the development of racing engines, which found their way into formula racing. Recreational activity should be an essential part of the Japanese lifestyle. When Genji Kawakami made a trip to the U.S. in 1953 and saw Americans enjoying leisure activities, he decided to bring the same kind of affluent lifestyle to the people of Japan one day. In 1960, Yamaha began manufacturing boats with fiber-reinforced plastic and outboard motors. This marked the company's first step in promoting marine leisure activities. This was a new Yamaha challenge in an entirely new field. The company continued to expand its product line in response to market needs, actively promoting its products in Japan as well as overseas. Because Yamaha's outboard motors are used both on pleasure boats and commercial boats operated under harsh conditions, Yamaha continued to improve their reliability and durability. As a result, Yamaha's outboard motors have earned high acclaim for use in both business and leisure, and Yamaha now boasts the highest production volume in the world, establishing itself as the world's top brand. True to the founder's spirit, Yamaha also continued to participate in marine competitions and continued to build winning records. Meanwhile, Yamaha took up business challenges in a number of other fields. Have we achieved the glory of number one? Is this what customers want? Yamaha's approach to creating products from the standpoint of the user has brought emotional excitement and greater affluence to people's lives. Yamaha also actively addresses environmental conservation. The world's first electro-hybrid bicycle, the Yamaha Pass. The company has developed and introduced a steady stream of innovative new personal vehicles that are gentle to the environment. Demand is something that we have to create on our own. Since its establishment, Yamaha has not only provided superb products, but also actively promoted safety and offered the fun of sports and recreational activities to more people. Underpinning the company's activities is another firm belief of its founder. Demand is something that we have to create on our own. Delivering emotional fulfillment and affluent lifestyles to the world through our products. Committed to this corporate mission, Yamaha extends beyond national borders. For instance, Yamaha held the Japan-China Friendship Guangzhou Yamaha Show, the first of its kind to be held in China by a Japanese company. Starting with an initial monthly production of about 200 vehicles, Yamaha Motor has consistently carried on its founder spirit and now manufactures products at 60 factories in 35 countries around the world where users enjoy the high quality products that result. Yamaha's challenging spirit continues to carry the company forward. As it has done in the past 50 years, it will continue to create new values that explore the future.
This is a milestone year that connects our past to the future. It's a good opportunity for us to reflect upon our past and consider our thoughts and actions, to let us know where we stand today and determine whether we are prepared for the future.